Hello, Brain Tap Nation. This is Dr. Patrick Porter coming to you live with a new and uh, different kind of thing here. We're going to be talking a little bit about the mental game of tennis. So if you've ever played tennis, you know that you're only six inches away from either victory or defeat. You've got to get your get your mindset straight. And we have Coach Jimmy G with us, and he's also has something really exciting happening on August 12th. Uh, or is it August 21st? Tell me. August what, 21st. <laughs> okay. So August 21st, you've got something going on in California. Tell us a little bit about what's going on there, Jimmy. Yeah, we're going to have a one-day tennis and yoga workshop. And so we're going to blend the worlds of yoga and tennis to teach people not only how to play tennis and do yoga, but how to get their mindset right to to visualize success on the court and in life. So it's going to be way more than just tennis. It's just kind of becoming a, a, a stronger, better you. Mm -hmm. you know? We teach about nutrition also. Right. So, so tell us, yeah, tell me a little bit about the role of nutrition in, let's say, as you're coaching tennis players from the neophyte, the person just starting to those that are maybe on tour. What, what's the difference between the way they eat and the thing about food? Well, I mean, first of all, I mean, if, if you're if you don't know what you're doing nutritionally, you know, you could be sapping your energy. You know, if you eat a big you know, steak before a, a, a match, your body's going to have to digest that. That could tire you out before the match. Also, hydration. You have to, you have got to be hydrated properly, especially in the heat, because your body is going to go, is going to need that water to just so you don't cramp. You know, I mean, there's just, I mean, nutrition is, is a science, as you know. So, um, you know, if, if you are ahead of the game in nutrition, you have, you have more recovery, you have more. Uh, uh, endurance throughout the match. It's it's tennis is is uh, you have to be able to recover and endure the whole match. But what do you do for the next match, right? You have to recover. So it's a science. Right. We talk about yoga. Most people think of yoga not in connection with tennis, but it, it is in connection with stretching your body and things like that. What's the importance, the connection there between yoga and tennis? Well. I wish I had learned about yoga when I was coming up because I was the super hard worker and I was lifting all these weights and stretching, but I didn't know how to. Timer on there. Um, yeah. I did not know about how yoga opens up the, uh, the flexibility in the hips and, and it makes you it allows you to uh, recover and it, it it strengthens your body. You have strength and balance. I just got tighter and tighter and tighter and lost my range of motion. So yoga has changed my life. It is, and also there's the mental aspect. You learn to breathe, you learn to meditate. Um, and it brings, you know, in tennis, you want to try to get in the zone and yoga has helped me get in the zone, become a more peaceful, uh, uh, focused uh, competitor. Mm -hmm. Not just tennis, but in life, honestly. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So that's part of what you're going to be teaching, I understand, is it teaching them how, what the connection is when you're on the court or in the boardroom, what you might do or how you might think about situations in your life and things of that nature. Tell us a little bit about, um, I know you're, you're a BrainTap user, so tell us a little bit about how you feel BrainTap to be used in the, in the field of tennis. As soon as you're ready. Dr. Patrick, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Then yeah. Hmm. Nothing's changed on this end, uh, Jimmy. So maybe log out and log back in and see what we can do. And get, can you hear me now, Jimmy? With lives, um, if something if something does come up as a monitor or something as a you can just you don't have to respond to it just keep talking hello yeah i can hear you i'm not sure what what has changed here so testing Well, Coach Jimmy, as live recordings go. Can you hear me? 
Yes, I, we can hear you, Jimmy. So, um, hello. Yeah, we can we can hear you. It's your must be your volume there. 